Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into the Semi Perfect Podcast on this February 7th evening. It is also just hours away from the Winter Olympics beginning. Yeah. For those that didn't know. So, didn't. yeah. So, uh, welcome in. Semi Perfect Podcast. I'm AC Race Best, joined with Toodles. Hello. Saber Spark. Saber Spark. Did you not hear me? Nope. My microphone's being stupid. Hello. All I heard, all I heard was like a fork hitting a plate. <laughs> That wasn't I me. That was here. That was here. Sashi. Oh well, at least you're eating this chicken. Eating food. Uh, Saber I'm... Spark. Hi. <laughs> Laura. Hello. Hey Leo. Hello. Hero Sashi. Young Midoriya. <laughs> Are you eating something right now? Yeah. What? Uh, I made. He's what eating out Bas- his check. Bas- Basmati rice with a. Uh, Furry and chicken. Nice. Mm, I love furry chicken. Yeah, furry chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <Me> too. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome in everybody. As uh, as we have another podcast upon us. Thank you for joining us here for all of our live viewers and those that are watching this on delay. Thank you for watching, and of course, thank you to all the podcasters joining us here tonight. Um, at some point tonight, we'll probably have Gabe arrive. He likes to be a free spirit of sorts. Hmm. But uh, yeah, gonna be kind of a, a random uh, it's not topic. Fair. What's not you don't fair? know why? I'm, I feel like you're like the mom, and I'm the kid who has to like go like sit down and play the piano and practice, <laughs> while my other brother gets to go outside and play basketball. <laughs> and it's like, how come Gabe gets to go out and play basketball? Oh, he's a free spirit. <laughs> 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 He's living his life. So, so is that what it feels like? We're doing piano. Yeah. Right now? Well. Did you ever play any instruments growing up? Yeah. What? I did. Nice. I did piano lessons when I was younger, and then I played the French horn. The... Played the what? French horn. Nice. Oh, look at you. Yeah. They say that French horn players are very good kissers. Oh, that's one of my French... teachers said. French French horn is a really hard instrument. I heard that like band people are like freaks in bed. <laughs> they oh, might. Yeah. I don't know. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I play. I, I would know this because I played recorder in uh, second grade. <laughs> yeah, you just you just blow on it as hard as you can. <laughs> I want to find one. I have mine somewhere. I want to like recreate like. I love that one where like they recreated the uh, Titanic theme. Everyone played that. I swear, my my, uh, my little sister had a keyboard, and one of the pre-programmed songs was the and I would like sit at her keyboard and like pretend that I'm like playing it, and I would like tear up from like just how emotional I was playing. Did you all see? Somewhere. I thought you were about to say somebody won. <laughs> there's a comment yeah. in a group chat where it's like a happy end for Titanic and it had Rose on the door and then like Mike and Sully kicked the door open <clears throat> and they, they like started shuttling people through the portal for the door oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I believe it was a cop door <laughs> what the fuck and then, I don't know, and then the abominable snowman showed up and he had snow cones and everyone's like great <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, let's jump into food post, yeah. Sarah. Yes. Do that. Okay. Hashtag food, SPP foods. If anybody wants to do a last minute submission, hashtag, we're using hashtags now. Got hashtag. It. All right. So. All right. I'm on the latest. Okay. Hashtag. So first off, we have Chris, uh, who has a big bag of gummy works or gummy worms for the podcast and it's the trolley super bright crawlers why, why don't i see this one um because it's it's the first one yeah it's the first know. one on there it's by latest. what it show the thread to click the button yeah. that says show the thread oh Ooh. there's a, oh yeah hey the hey. crash course and how to use twitter <laughs> wait where's the thread button 
I don't know. Okay, yeah, Des Keys is next with <laughs> leftover KFC. It's like an old man on AOS, whatever. AOL. Are you in a bathroom? Yeah. Right. Are you like smoking a bong? Uh-huh. Y'all hear that? Yeah. Yeah. I'm taking a whiz. <laughs> Good. Uh, <laughs> then we have, then we have reckless saying, "I have the same as last time, except a little something I'm gonna keep hidden." I think is what he meant to say, and it's he's got popcorn, and I guess I don't know, I don't know what's supposed to be hidden in here, but there's like a drink, and then there's his laptop. I don't know if it's, <laughs> I don't know what's hidden. But okay. Oh dear me. Um, Railroad Brunnies says, okay, so my perfect pod crew, help me decide which Girl Scout cookie should I have with my Leninade, shortbread or oatmeal sandwich? Shortbread. Saber says shortbread. Anybody else have an opinion? What was the, what was the other one? Uh, oatmeal sandwich. Shortbread. I like oatmeal. Short, shortbread. But the Navy one, what? Okay. Well, I mean, it seems shortbread is the popular ones. vote. <laughs> is, there, is there a link that you guys are? How are you all on the same page? Hashtag SPP Foods, dear. Here, I'll just fucking link you since you're <laughs> so <laughs> inept at Twitter. I I I searched hashtag. I searched hashtag. It was never this show I just linked it. SPP just click it. Foods. But this Plural. Is, I, that's what I typed in. I, that's okay, oh, click man. the link. Click, you, I'm just click, the click the link. What one are you on? Because the first Railroad one I Brownies today, post. The first one with... I saw from today was Nikki D. Okay, well, that's not. That's not. I haven't gotten to that one. Well, I don't know. Well, okay. <laughs> Next is Nora Mermaid watching the oh, semi perfect pod. Because he's he's going from the bottom up. You oh. You dumbs! I'm doing it right. No, I did it from latest. Oh. From latest. Yeah, but then I went to the bottom to look oh. at the <laughs> latest. Okay, well so I, I'm just going okay. down the line. Okay, so, so we got So Nora. we've reached Nora Mermaid. Yes. Who has mango juice and Dear a charcoal Lord. mask on. Did you, did you say ego juice? No. No mango, mango juice. juice. Ego juice. <laughs> it's it's when you squeeze the ego to get the rest of the syrup out. Okay. Let go I got of my ego juice. Guys. Has anyone ever eaten their their egos frozen? No. No. no why would you? I like my teeth. I've done it. <laughs> I've done it. It's not. I I don't know why I did. I've done it for ramen. I've th- I've eaten ramen dry. Dry? Yeah, it's you know I, I don't know why, but uh, so you said Nora, and I've been listening to some Disney songs. I was driving back from Georgia a few days ago, uh-huh. and I was listening to Hero, Hero, it was Hero to Hero, and I went someone to animate the part where that one girl is like, and this perfect package packed a pair, a pair of pretty packs. Ow! I wanted to have that Nora doing that, holding a Gabe action figure. <laughs> <laughs> it's packed a pair of pretty packs. Ow! <laughs> uh, uh, next up, we have... What's a charcoal mask? It's a mask what? that you put on your face that cleanses your pores and all that shit. You know, we actually got a bunch of like mites on our face that we can never see. Good. Microscopic. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm cool with that well, next we got Ross Pitt with uh, he says I've decided to eat like a king tonight while watching the SPP and it looks like he's got a drink of some sort and then roasted and salted cocktail peanuts Ooh. <laughs> mm, nice next we drummer shy yes. you want to take this one dear yeah, has having some good food, ravioli and meatballs and green beans. Looks good. It does. Yeah. It does. <laughs> is that making you Rosie, hungry? Yeah, it is. Rosie says, enjoy tonight's semi perfect podcast with Girl Scout cookies. Yo. Nice. Hey, and she <laughs> bought them from Saber Sparks niece. Ah, She's got the Savannah Smiles tag along, Sin Mints, and Girl Scout S'mores. Nice. Nice. Awesome. Nice and then group. here's the one that I've been looking at the, the whole time. Yeah. But Nikki D says won't be here tonight. In fact, this isn't even a food post. But mm-hmm. they're getting ready for a parade. Mm, the Eagles. Apparently, somebody won a Super Bowl. Yeah. 
So, did anyone go to uh, do a Super Bowl thing, like a party or anything? Anyone? Yep. Yeah? Yep. Okay, so, Hero, are you a football guy? Absolutely not. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> so, so are, you, are you the person that goes for the food? Uh, yeah, my friend did a food gathering. It was just the excuse was that it's a Super Bowl. None of my friends watch football. Oh, nerds with gigantic nerds. <laughs> but... Nice. Yeah, we did get to uh, see some people we hadn't seen in a while, so we just literally talked for like eight hours. It was very nice. All right. So mm -hmm. yeah, no, I've. It's funny because I've heard, not heard. I know that there's people that just go to like Super Bowl parties for food, and mm -hmm. I am one of those people, and mm -hmm. I am very unapologetic about it. Uh -oh. Like, I mean, it's cool to see people, but I was, I was just laughing at some of the posts. Like, I've seen a couple where it's referring to like. <sighs> when you're at a Super Bowl party and someone walks up and actually starts talking about football with you. Stop. So. It's the bottom yeah. of the ninth inning. What? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Did they score a goal? You know what's so sad? I literally mm. started out that statement like intending to say a football thing and it i was like that's not football oh no <laughs> yeah, it's not football at all see that's you, how much i know about football you tr you tried though mm -hmm. at least do you guys have like a favorite super bowl snack uh no just food really <laughs> <laughs> just any food will do nice mm -hmm. hot dogs oh yeah barbecue I'm back. Okay. Hi, Saber. <laughs> Hi, the fucking hey, my boxes. What's up? What is your favorite Super Bowl party food? Oh man, um, Laura's father throws an exquisite Christmas party. I'm talking like top notch. I get really fat during Christmas. It's like a one-two punch with her family. <laughs> And the family has all kinds of food, mm -hmm. and then we go to your dad's house, and it's like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. And he has a um, a Chick Fil A chicken nugget tray, that's like hundreds of chicken nuggets. Yeah, you can get them at any Chick Fil A. I I, I know, <laughs> no, George, and I know this. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's not just one single location located in Pennsylvania. Yeah. Mm -hmm. me. No, um, yeah, yeah, the chicken nugget tray, nachos, and just you know burgers. So. That's my jam. Those are three things. This is your one favorite. Yeah. Number one. Why do you have to ruin my <laughs> life? And, al and also, you, you said, <laughs> you, said you had that around. Life. <laughs> you also you said that you had that around Christmas. We're talking That's about the Super Bowl. We're talking about the Super Bowl. Like you don't even know what sports involved. All right, shut up. All right. <laughs> you said one two punch. Is that like equal to one punch? Stop it. All right. The answer is burger. Good one two punch, man. Bar barbecue is good. <laughs> barbecue is good. It's like, um, no. <laughs> I think I think for me, even though like I I don't know if I've ever been to a Super Bowl party that actually had this, it would probably be like chicken wings. Okay. So I don't know if that I don't know if that counts. Me. <laughs> yeah. I've never been. So. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> so, Super Bowl uh, party. D yeah. Did anyone at here actually watch the game? I did. Nope. No. There was okay. Off and on. I did watch Cloverfield, though. That was a good football game. <laughs> you know what bothers, oh, yes. you know what bothers me? What? Is, uh, so, These goddamn nerds. <laughs> no, what bothers me is that, yes, actually, yes, it's the nerds. When, like, Super Bowl happens without fail, You'll have people being like, sports ball, or the oh, football, there's something going on with the football, I guess I missed that. I was like, oh, fucking, yeah, we get it, all right, there's sports going on, you don't like it, Jesus. Like, <laughs> without fail, at least, like, 50 people on my foot timeline are talking about, like, the Super Bowl going on, but they're nerds, so they don't partake in such activities. <laughs> like, oh, the nerds are going to go play, see Star Wars, who gives a shit? Whatever you you catch my drift. Like, 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 just let someone if someone likes it, let them like it. You know, whatever. It's the Super Bowl. Who cares? That, but then again, like, what's that? <laughs> we can't really make fun of people for watching sports. We watch my yeah, story. exactly. Just like just don't make fun of anybody. Period. But I don't know. I, like, I saw a lot of people tweeting about like how there's football, but they don't partake in it. I'm like, okay, who cares? Fine. Then, then don't watch it. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it's it. 
Yeah. I, 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 I was cheering for the Eagles, the bottom too. line, because I fucking hate the Patriots. Did and, they win? Oh, they lost. Who won. They lost. Eagles was, won. They lost. It was glorious. Oh. Wait, it was glorious that you're, the team you wanted to win lost? No, no the, the Patriots lost. Like, the Eagles, there was a great play where they try to throw the ball to the quarterback, Tom Brady. And, uh, and and I guess, like, after the game, I got really, like, cause I, know, I don't like Tom Brady. But after the game, I'm like, wow, he's an asshole. Because after the game, after they lost, he didn't even shake the hands of, of, with the other quarterback. He just walked off the field. It's like, go fucking cry me a river, you fucking punk. I think <clears throat> I did see one play from uh, the game, and it was really impressive, where Gandalf called the Eagles and <laughs> came in and <laughs> Somebody made a post about that on 4chan, where they're like, if the Eagles needed the score, why didn't they just fly into the end zone? <laughs> <laughs> like, That's my good. God, right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, just like really it. quick, there was one person who forgot to use the hashtag for the SPP foods. Can't stress enough that you really need to use the hashtag from now on. But Fluttercord is having like some delicious looking ramen. Oh. Yeah. Oh y'all. It's I think uh, it is you, I think you, it is ramen, but I don't know. If you exactly. want me to save you a headache, I'll also mention that uh the cake slayer <laughs> forgot to use the uh hashtag as oh, well. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, so... Uh, Got says, some delicious can't, calculations. <clears throat> can't make it tonight, but here be what I'm munching on. Delicious calculations with a side of notebook. You should really try it. It's good for the brain. Thanks. I'm going to check that out. There. I, there. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So, outside of Super Bowl stuff, um, anything exciting for you guys over the last two weeks? I went to go visit my family in Georgia. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, How was that? It was great. My mom and I, we went to Dahlonega, which is a um, an old Confederate town. I mean, you can, I can't fault, like, it's kind of like getting angry at Germany for, like, you know, it's like, oh, fuck you, Berlin. It's like, oh, I was in the past. Yeah, that's the difference, is if they actively hold on to it or not. Yeah. So uh, my mother and I went to an antique store on the, uh, in the town square. I don't know why. Like, I went to the college. I went there for five years. It was my college town. And when I went back to it this time, I was like, wow, it doesn't look as good as it used to. I don't know. Maybe, maybe some of the stars fell out of my eyes. But that being said, we went to the antique store. And I saw all this Confederate stuff. Like, I was like, good Lord. Like, I, I, I remember seeing on Twitter or Tumblr being like, the Confederate shit's just gone too far. And I'm like, it's not as bad as they make it out to be. But then I walked around the antique store. I'm like, oh, my fucking God, it's pretty bad. Like, there's a portrait of Robert E. Lee. And I'm like, woof. Okay. <laughs> um, well, <clears throat> just to verify, you said you were in an antique store, right? Yeah. Well, there was one was an antique store and one was a general store. The general store actually had the most. They had a Confederate section, which, so again, <laughs> I, I try to be lo- I try to be logical because it's weird because it's about how culture observes this stuff. Because when Nazism came to it, well, when the German Nazi is Nazi stuff came to an end. Like Germany as a, as a whole mostly was like, okay, we got to fucking push this far away. We're done with it. Like never again, never again. And they like actively like keep it out of their lives. Yeah. Like they'll root it out like, like a weed. And uh, it was a cultural movement. While the South, after the Civil War, there were like definitely pockets of like the South will rise again. And it kind of became more of like a Southern like quote unquote charm. Because I grew up in Georgia, and I saw that, you know, Confederate hats, Confederate license plates. <laughs> it was like the, the rebellious nature of the South, which is kind of romanticized, yeah. but then, like, finally boiled over recently, where it's like, oh, this isn't really romantic. This is really fucking gross. Because I can look back on history and go, wow, the Confederates are interesting, and there's interesting soldiers and their stories and why they fought and, and battles. And Because I never want to turn a blind eye to history. The same way that there are German soldiers who fought, uh, you know, for the wrong side. But that's where history ends. It's like, okay, y'all fucked up. Let's leave, leave it behind us. Versus those who still actively hold on to it. And I'm like, are you fucking stupid? Like, there's no room for the Confederacy or the Reich nowadays. Those days are long gone. And, and the fortunate thing is the majority of people are on the same page. It's just that th- those who are still left are kind of loud. And it makes you feel like, oh, God, this is embarrassing. Yeah. No, I remember a couple of years ago, just because, you know, it's like, 
a lot of people see it as oh the symbol of the South or whatnot. Um, NASCAR, uh, God, I don't remember how long ago now, but they they had to like they basically said okay, you're good to bring just about anything to the racetrack, but we're not going to be having like Confederate flags being displayed because. You know, if there's one thing for NASCAR, it's like we we're really trying to show people that we're not like <laughs> racist. <laughs> yeah, or <laughs> deep south, like ah, never, never. And and it just it was like such a thing that I, I forget if it was specifically like like where it it was where they kind of put this like okay, no more of this, no more Confederate flag stuff. Yeah, yeah. But, but that was an opportunity for me since I'm not from the South. It was more of an opportunity for me to see how people responded to it. And how it was so doing? interesting just because a lot of people, um, I mean, I, I'd say, you know, there's that split, but for the people that were upset that, oh, NASCAR's losing its roots, don't they know that this is, the, you know, where the sport came from? It's And it's like, mm, it's weird because I feel like people look at, you know, like you said, it's romanticized. Like, oh, but yeah, this yeah. is this is part of America, and it's like, yeah, no, it's but not. It's, it's also like, the... it tried to destroy America. To be honest, <laughs> it was the part of America that's like, <laughs> I guess because it's it's again like when the Japanese moved on from World War II and the and the Germans, the majority of them were like, we're done with this. But the South, for some reason, like it lingered, and they like held on to. It. I mean, there's there's a reason why. And he was like, okay, so no more slavery. The South was like, we'll just sneak in them Jim Crow laws. And it's like the Union was like, no, we said no more slavery. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the South, they like dragged their feet. And you can still see remnants of that today. Mm -hmm. And all you got to do is just root that shit out, just like a weed. Just yank it out and throw it away and go, okay. And you can't, you can't say that you love america and also we have a confederate flag around it's like you guys were fucking enemies so no <laughs> all right i don't know all right, let's, uh, let's move topics here okay when the last year luna had the civil war and luna said the moon will rise again <laughs> <laughs> the moon will rise again <laughs> that's really good actually yeah, it was great <laughs> Oh, I wish I was in the land of the lunar. <laughs> so speaking speaking of uh, moments of uh, brilliance or or not. I'm sorry. Um, I can imagine that Sarah's like twiddling her thumbs like, okay, let's move it. Let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was just going to admit, just because that made me laugh. Uh, just uh, a reminder to everybody that uh, a couple of us are going to be going to uh, BabsCon coming up here soon. <laughs> um, and yeah, I just I just wanted to mention that because I'm, I'm certain we're going to be doing you know, Who's Line stuff, a couple panels. And uh, for anyone that's going to be at BabsCon, we can't wait to see you. So, Sarah, do we have any confederacy? I think about one of the most <laughs> confederate cities in the world, San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Okay. Sorry, what was, what was your question, babe? I, I was asking, um, were there any topics that we wanted to hit on that I'm... I've got uh, a couple of things written down. Uh, I guess... We can start off with um, Fighting Herds is coming out February 22nd. And, yeah, you know, that yeah. started out as a fandom project and it's kind of taken a life of its own. And now it's it's almost here. Yeah. That's excited. Exciting. Yeah. <clears throat> it's interesting how I'm pretty sure Fighting Herds was being uh, put together before i was even in the fandom so it's so interesting or weird for me to be like huh it's still being made yeah <laughs> <laughs> almost there but yeah yeah it <clears throat> talk about a, a journey that game has taken yeah <laughs> just, just you're down then you're up then you're down <laughs> then you're back up <clears throat> then you've got but, long yeah. fast in your corner yeah Damn. it uh i i I have a feeling that at some point with uh, fighting herds, we're gonna have some fun with it. Like yeah. our group, we might we might do some stuff yeah. with that game. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what uh, ends up coming of that game. And when did you say it comes out? Twenty uh, second of this uh, month. Wow. Yeah. That's in two weeks. <sighs> so, I got a copy too. So 
Real so quick, just I'm with you over. <laughs> just before we do dive any further, was there anyone else who had anything to bring up over the last two weeks? I broke four hundred thousand on YouTube. Woo! Yeah. Someone <laughs> else, not you. That's, that's it. <laughs> four hundred. Four hundred. <laughs> Get on. I, I uh, I finally moved into the house I bought in July. Oh, wow. it's not nearly as a big of a deal as mine. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, that's really so, cool. Here, how's the uh, how's the move going? So, or are you settled in yet? What? Uh, I, I mean, yeah, for the most part, I still need to put this table up and move uh, something to put my TV on, but that's about all that's left to do. So, yeah, I mean, my bed's here, so I can sleep here. So I live here. It's nice. Your mom well, likes sleeping. You know what's crazy? The crazy. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. We're ass off. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but the nicest part it's it's so stupid and it's so like petty but it's something that like it's like wanes on your nerves over the years like i can walk downstairs at nighttime without having to sneak around it's so <laughs> nice oh my god because yeah. you know at nighttime everything is three times louder just by default so. yeah <laughs> and you can also do it naked i can i have not but i can <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, we, uh, over the last two weeks, um, was it last week, Sarah? No, two weeks ago. Uh, <clears throat> Irwindale Speedway, the track that we do the low budgets at, had what was initially slated as its final night of destruction, which no longer is the case because that track is, uh, yeah, it's here to hang. We, we have new management. They've moved in now, so we'll see how everything goes from here. But yeah, so I, I know a couple of people are still bringing it up or asking like, oh, it's so sad that the track's going away. And I'm like, nope, it's not. It's so, staying. It's staying. And uh, we're going to put Sarah to work this year and have her paint more stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, Do you have another animated paint cars up or is it still Zootopia? No, actually, I think people are going to get a kick out of... Um, so, so the series or the the season that I'm uh, putting out right now, um, we're about to release two new character cars, and they're related in a way. So, yeah, I think I think people are gonna get a kick out of out of the next two cars that are gonna come out. So they're related, yeah. huh? So it's like, uh. Timmy Turner and Venom. You got what? it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> First I'm guess. This. Um, yeah. So, anyone else? Anyone um, else for the next two weeks? I got the Shadow of the Colossus remake yesterday. Nice. Good. It's really good. Is it better than Shadow of the Colossus on the PS2? I mean, it's practically the same, except for it just looks prettier. Um, yeah. Um. Much like like, it's remakes, incredibly so. detailed. <laughs> <laughs> I've been uh, <clears throat> seeing you post about that game. So yeah. that's how I've been living yeah, vicariously for you. <laughs> yeah. I, I did have someone ask. Uh, wait, I just got to read this out loud. Okay. I just saw this in the... <laughs> oh, no. Is it... In the chat. Oh, no. Because it caught my eye. I thought someone was simply asking when the Bronies React is coming out. Mm -hmm. It said they're asking, uh, so when we getting the next Brown People, Brownies, Bronies, Brothers React? Soon. Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Very soon. No, it's in the works. Um, the newest React is in the works. And yeah. But I don't know how much I'm going to get done over the next two weeks because, as mentioned, the Olympics are going to be starting here. Uh, is that a thing you're super into? Yes, it is. Like, oh, okay. I watch every single event that I can record. I'll watch mm -hmm. all of it. So, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to it. It starts right about the time we're going to end the podcast is when I think coverage begins on television for it. Mm -hmm. where, where did this love for the Olympics came, come from? <clears throat> so... A couple of years ago, like I used to, I used to watch the Olympics with like my parents, like they'd put it on during prime time and you'd see, you know, oh, here are the highlights and, you know, yeah, you know, go USA or 
go underdogs or whoever. And the uh, so I always enjoyed watching the Olympics. It was always part of like something that we would watch uh, as a family, and I always got excited about it um, because I love like having someone to cheer for, uh, you know, whether it's in racing or in the Olympics. And uh, one year, all of a sudden, I was like, you know what? Heck, I want to like watch as much of this as I can. Like, usually I just watch the primetime stuff, but I actually like want to watch what's being given because the primetime stuff's usually edited down to it's like, all right, here's the people you wanted to see. Um, like, you know, here, here's uh, USA for those living in the USA. And I wanted to see like as much of it as I could to really appreciate everything that's going on in the Olympics. So I think it was the last Winter Olympics when I really like watched everything through and I was still living with my parents at the time. And, and then this, uh, the summer Olympics, I did it and there's even more there. So that was one heck of a time, but yeah, I don't know. I just, I love doing it. It's kind of just a, it's two weeks where all I'm doing is watching sports on television every waking minute of my time besides working. So, so yeah. you want us to get Brennan's direct to you. Right before the Olympics? What do you think? Actually, I was asking for it about four months ago, but <laughs> I just happened to now receive footage. So, so. <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds like a you problem. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to your saver. You get back on that piano and start playing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so. And, and, and yeah, welcome our, uh, our free spirit. The free spirit. Hey. Speaking of, oh, I'm so proud. The free spirit has joined us. Gabe, welcome in. Ah, hi. I was <laughs> listening. I was just chilling and listening. You guys are having so much fun. Outside. That's what? Outside play. <laughs> no, I was just outside. I hurt my neck kiting, which I'm frustrated you about. Hurt your neck kiting? How do you hurt your neck kiting? Kiting a tandem paraglider. There it is. <laughs> I don't know what that changes aside from you added gliding, the gliding a tamp. Well, what? <laughs> well, it's a very, it's a very large glider, and I wanted the ground handle at first before I tried to attach someone else to it and fly with a passenger. Um, and I went out to a field, and um, it just, it's really big. I really can't emphasize how huge it is. Huge. Enough. It's just really big, and the wind, even a light wind, is very strong on a paraglider that's 40 square meters um, surface area. And so it was kind of yanking me all over the place and tweaked my neck. Hmm. Okay. Well, and I guess that's how you still... do it. That's how you yeah. hurt your neck. <laughs> that is how it's done. Well, welcome in. Did you watch the uh, the Super Bowl? I did watch the, the bowl that was super... Um, I got a little bored in the beginning, and I went and practiced wingovers, and then I got back in time for the ha hangover, the halftime, halftime show with Justin, <laughs> which I was really looking forward to, and it didn't disappoint. I love Justin Timberlake; he's awesome, and it was great. Awesome. Who well, was happy that the Eagles won? Me. Me. Okay, good. There's a room of indifferent. People. <laughs> no, I, I, I didn't even watch the game. <laughs> yeah, I don't care about. That. I, I, I am. Probably, I've heard. I've heard the Patriots are like a little pretentious, so maybe the Eagles winning is not so bad. I don't know. I they were caught cheating a few times. Um, yeah, they they've kind of got you know, um, they've got Tom Brady though, which is a you know he's a huge favorite. Everyone loves him. Uh, he's forty <laughs> I now. I think that's what you're gonna say. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's he's forty. Like I, I respect him for you know his tenacity. A forty-year-old quarterback in the Super Bowl is pretty yeah, impressive. Yeah, he should retire. I know, <laughs> but um, anyway, yeah, I was kind of rooting for the Eagles in this case, not only because yeah, the the you know Patriots are a bit pretentious. I do tend to vote for the underdog, but also because their substitute quarterback is uh goes to college at U of A, which is where my sisters go to college, and actually played for um Arizona's football team, um the Eagles, not the Eagles, the Nick Wildcats. Cole, right? You're talking about Nick Foles, right? Yes. I wasn't I? I can't remember, but I think Nick was the uh, was like the understudy quarterback. He um, was basically the understudy. Yeah, he wasn't their their um, main quarterback. He was a substitute. 
There was a, a story about like him and the the main coach that they're talking about before the game and how he like he came back to the NFL and he was like, I only want to play for the Eagles and got his wish and it's pretty cool. Though that is like, very cool. I read like some because Tom Brady's been hashtagging all day. And there's something about like this is like the testament to just how stupid people are, where they're like, I can't believe that Tom Brady kissed his son on the lips, and it's like. Well, like, like it's a little, a little kid, like a little kid. Man, you know, with all this stuff going on in the world, you really don't have to fish that hard for drama. <laughs> it, it's not like it was a sensual kiss. I mean, like when I was a kid, like you know, I'd give my parents kiss on the lips, say goodnight. There's nothing no harm from that. Um, some families do it. Some families don't. I mean, yeah, if I want to, if I, I want to open my grandma, my grandma damn it, you beat me to it. <laughs> 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 Ooh, I can feel your grandma. <laughs> Come wow. here and kiss your grandma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, <laughs> but how you been, game? Every, everything good with you? Me? Yeah, I'm. 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 Uh, I just. Yeah, kind of busy. A little stressful. I had um a VA exam this Monday, <laughs> which is always stressful. Um, and then I had. Uh, I have. I'm trying to get a video out. A uh, video that requires a ton of work uh, this Friday, because my year's about to get kind of busy after that. Uh, I have a fly-in this weekend, my first one ever. I'm going to get together. Uh, it's a get together for ultralight and uh, general aviation pilots. And I have a few friends I met online who are also pilots. Uh, there's a guy I know who's a triple seven pilot that uh, owns his own Russian Yak 52, an old Warbird, World War II um, Warbird. Wow. And he's going to be there, so that should be fun to fly with him and make some new pilot friends. Nice. Well, uh, hopefully it's it's a good busy that's coming up for you. Yeah. yeah. So, yes, it is. Um, I also am doing some pretty exciting work for William Anderson, but that's I think that's all I'm allowed to say about it. But that's, Never, that's, that's, not, that's not My Little Pony guy, right? <laughs> no, it's not My Little Pony this time. Or oh, pretty well, much then, ever again did, because did he of... make pony music. <laughs> no, yeah, that's what he was asking. He's like, is he from ponies? Oh yeah, William Anderson's from Pony. He does the background music for all okay, the. All okay. the but I've worked yeah, with him okay. before. I did the um, Pac-Man theme song with him, and I did um... the original Pac-Man. No, <laughs> Gabe has no, been that, around. That, goes... <laughs> yeah, that, that, new, that, new, that new cartoon that was out. Yeah, it's not that. In... Uh, but um not very good <laughs> yeah i did that and then i did some songs for skylanders and yokai watch in the past as well oh, really? oh, nice. <laughs> Fun. Yeah. i like i like yokai watch because it's level five and i love everything level five. <laughs> oh and nora mermaid mentions in the chat that you reached four hundred thousand subs I did. I was hot on Steven's heels. I thought maybe there was a chance I'd beat him to, but no. He, <laughs> he he released that awesome Leo the Lion video and got a massive yeah. boost, it seems, from it. That was hilarious, oh, by the way. I watched you're, the whole you're, thing. You're, you are nipping at my heels. You're going to pass me up. I would imagine by the end of February. I don't well, think so, though. Because what's your... No, 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 what's no, your no, listen to buddy. You're about to release like an Impressions video that's going to give you like, a 50,000 subscriber boost. It's, you're like you're like my Goku and I'm Vegeta. I'm like, <laughs> hey, we'll get you, Kakarot. I have to make... What do you mean, Virginia? <laughs> <laughs> listen, y'all fuckers don't get it. You, you better watch out for me, because I'm going to hit 500k before both of you. You're, you're, you're <laughs> our Krillin. I I have I've gained three <laughs> subscribers this month, so watch it. But don't worry, you, you, Krillin has the hot wife. Oh. Yay! <laughs> Come here, Paleo. Yeah, yeah. Look, you guys have been like neck and neck uh, around that time, uh, like a couple days ago. When you shouldn't you be necking. You keep going like, yeah, I gotta get away from game. <laughs> <laughs> look, I'm kind I'm kind of linear, and you're kind of. Kind of, you get, you get this, this jumping around <laughs> like uh, a parabola. I got, I, got, I got lucky with the little line. Um, I guess the see, I'm, a, I'm always a person who's like, I try to enjoy the moment when I can, but then I instantly start worrying about the future. Yes, me too. Oh my gosh, but you, well, your videos are consistently enjoyed by your subscriber base like I every video you release gets between one and three hundred thousand views in the first like 
day or two, pretty much. And oh, thank you. most of my stuff does not get more than 15,000 views. No, you, you're so Gabe. I was talking to uh, somebody about this. I think it was Race or Paleo. Like your impressions videos, like man, they're just they're grand slams every single time. Like you, you found it. Like you found. That's the, the cool thing about YouTube is when you find something that freaking works. Because it's like yes. wow. Because like I have been fortunate. I've done four, and they've all been very successful. So I'm really hoping the fifth one is uh, all Disney singers. So. I um I've asked uh like Twitter and YouTube. Did you get my request? Yes, I I did get your request, but I'm not doing girls. I'm so so sorry. Oh, that's cool. I'm I only doing guys, that. man. Oh well, yeah. you're gay. <laughs> yeah. no, I people that are gay that you like. Oh, I I'm I'm happy because, like, <laughs> with the Bernie fandom stuff, it's like uh I'm kind of like again like I look at you as a rival. Like the Vegeta Goku thing, because I, I kind of in this area where it's like, okay, cool, I've passed up a lot of people. I don't do it in the sense of like, yeah, fuck you, but more like, cool, this is a challenge, and I want to see how far I can go. Totally yeah, no, I love longer. that. That's that's oh. my brother and I have that same rivalry. It's like it's friendly competition, you know, and I think that's good. That drives you. You know what's forward. funny? Yeah. Is that both of you created your accounts within five days of each other? Hmm. What? Now, now, now it's a competition. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I yeah. thought I would never pass it, honestly, because you, you started diving forward, and, like, I had 120,000 when you had 300,000, and I was like, w there's no way. But I was very happy for you, but I was like, there's no way. My back, and yeah. I'm like, where's that fool black? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so, so Gabe created his account on the September 13th, 2007, and then uh, Saber created his on September 18th, 2007. Favorite spark and Christ kids. <laughs> yeah, Christ kids. I wish I could change that. <laughs> I think you can. Nope. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, <laughs> oh, Nora, 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 Nora. Nora, 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 Nora I have to as far as, like, people from our neck of the, like, fandom who still is ahead, who are ahead of us, there's Mando, Animated James, of course, Tomb. Uh, Tomb Stone. I Tombstone. think that's it. Tombstone. Tombstone. I just have given up. That guy, no, I, I, there's I, I, no way. I think I'll pass Andy. I, I, I kind of have been eyeballing him. I think we'll both Mandopony. pass him. Mandopony. Are we doing we'll that? <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, Mandopony. What the fuck, huh? <laughs> well, they jumped on uh, the the FNAF fandom and that or, you know early, and that was good. You know, they got their huge boost from that. Um, and then Tombstone Very just good. kept capitalizing on he, – he seems to jump on every trend before it starts. The dude oh, is – he's a genius when it comes to that. There's another uh, channel that I forgot about that's technically uh, still a major contender. Pass up is Fufflepuff. Fufflepuff? That thing still exists. It's 900,000 subscribers. Yep. <laughs> How many? 900,000. Wow. Damn. I thought the thing died like with 2014 or whatever. Nope. It's nope. still – Animation little... stay around though. Uh, you can like master animation. Yeah. We can make it cheap, and and quickly, and and like that because like, like advanced like detail animation. There's no room for that on YouTube. But if you can like make it like cheap, little like I don't know storyboard. Yeah, Flash. I mean, Flash is difficult, but once you have the assets, it becomes a lot easier. And I kind of find yeah. the same thing with them. Um, those assets. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Having kept good too. Who else? Who like, else is there then? Because anime James animations. Mando. Pymations? I don't know. Has he made any oh, yeah. brony content though? Like I know he's a brony. He's, he's made like pony animations, and he's he he's has. He's react at this point. He was what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went on his. Yeah, he's got like over a million, I think. But he's yeah, not he specifically a brony YouTuber. He didn't start yeah. with that. That's kind of yeah, who he, we're he's referring. nearing like two million right now. So yeah, don't forget that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Empathizing with his sleep schedule because he's even tweeting about how he's like falling asleep at like I think 1 p.m. I'm like Jesus, dude. Yeah. Oh, he was a... That's not too bad. <laughs> All right, Nora, I'm I'm specifically doing Sebastian for you. <laughs> I, I, Ariel, I Nora, did Sebastian, so you're welcome. Not here. You're welcome for the tides, the sun. <laughs> <laughs> here, did you want to say something? Oh, Wraith. Mm hmm Are you actually planning on playing Dumb Spider Hoods? Yeah. 
Did you want to get good at it? <laughs> I could Stop. take you down. No, you cannot. <laughs> yeah, you can. I heard. I heard about this. I heard that that because I mentioned it to you that you were like, oh, the poor soul. <laughs> the poor unfortunate soul. It's gonna be like the oh my god from uh, from like uh, my hero with like Midoriya and all my training. You did the Japanese. -y. You didn't even Midoriya. Have did you guys? Did you guys see that Ursula lost her head? Yeah. Oh my god, yes! I forgot that about that thing. Yeah. One of the greatest. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so sad I wasn't there to see yeah. it in person. Well, she kept singing though. What a trooper. Disneyland on the Little Mermaid ride. The animatronic of Ursula just its head popped off. <laughs> Didn't it scare little children though? Yeah. Oh, god. probably mortified them. Oh god. Like her head was detached, but like all the wires were still, uh, oh, like, God. and, and was, so like, she was spraying, like oil out not, of her arteries. But or she, even though her head was off and dangling, like along her chest area, it was still like animating and like seeing and stuff. <laughs> oh, that's so it's so good. How many rides did they go through before that was like stopped? And oh, fixed? probably just one. Nearly headless. Oh, How can you be nearly headless? <laughs> as probably as soon as they got word from like someone get off the ride saying hey ursula's head fell off <laughs> they, they just hear screams coming from the ride They're like ah, this isn't a scary vibe yeah, weird. Well, well, i mean they have cameras also so they they <laughs> this graphics card kind of looks like a confederate flag what <laughs> that was I just noticed it well, let, me take, if I've ever heard let, one. let me just like take a picture of it where, from where I stand or where I sit. It's just like kind of dumb. It's I don't care. Huh. My only uh, <laughs> Let's see here. So, Sarah, you mentioned a topic that we were going to discuss in regards to Starlight and Trixie. Yeah, has anybody seen that new uh, fan series uh, sculpture of Starlight Glimmer and Trixie, like on a firework? Yeah. So cute. That. I love it. You... Have I seen this? Um, I don't think so, actually. Here, let me put it in the Discord chat. Show it. Show it. <laughs> that's not the hero's there thing. Is. I was like, that's not a... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, everybody's that... like going crazy about this figure. And like I've seen oh, a lot of fan art of it is. online. Matthew. Yeah, it's cute. White Trixie. Does she have on a hat? Yeah. She has on she's got hat. like a... Yeah, she's got Trixie's Oh, hat. that's super cute! Oh, no, I want it. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently it's only 20 bucks. Oh, I'm getting that. 20 bucks? Yeah, that's what I heard. From Equestria Daily, they said it was 20 bucks. Thank the Lord for child labor in China. No kidding. <laughs> By the sweat and blood of these Chinese children, we Americans get to live a, a succulent life. I've been on the internet too long. What? This looks phallic to me. <laughs> well, I mean, it is a <laughs> well, I'm rocket. Actually, I'm going I mean... to uh, rip off the, the rocket and put them on my wiener. <laughs> 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 Who's next? What, uh, I didn't. I didn't notice it was Trixie's hat. It just kind of looks like she's wearing like one of those like you know gardening. It's almost. <laughs> gardening. It, it, I don't. Yeah. I don't know what you call them, but like I think space like, gardening. Kid, honestly. Hey, have we talked about the Falcon Heavy launch yet? No. no. no what yeah. about it? Can we? Yeah. The, the yes. new Han Solo movie with the Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that. He sounds like Han, but he doesn't look like him at all. They should just have Harrison Ford just show up and yep. be him as an old guy. But yeah, put a on a crap ton of makeup. <laughs> old, yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm young Han Solo. <laughs> <laughs> no, they they just got to do that weird technology they did in um Civil War on on Tony Stark. Yes. On Robert Downey or Jr. what they did to Superman in the New yeah. Justice League. Didn't they have? Didn't they create a whole character in like the last Star Wars movie that they just completely CGI'd? Leia. 
No, no it's like no, Dama no. Lama uh, Ding Dong. The, the it, it's the general no. dude. On the the general dude. On the dark oh, side. Uh, um, shit, Tarkin. Yeah, Grand yeah, Moff Tarkin. Tarkin. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, Tarkin? Really? Grand Moff Tarkin. Yeah, because the actor was in Rogue dead. One. Grand Moff Tarkin was. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That was amazing. That was so, impressive. Yeah, just have just have Han or Harrison do all the voice Harrison. stuff. Harrison. I like General Snowcone. He was pretty decent looking. He's pretty great, General Snowcone. I like uh, Emperor Snorks. He's pretty great too. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. The, so uh, what was it? Yesterday, I think the uh, uh, SpaceX decided to shoot stuff into space. Elon Musk is so cool. I love him. Okay, first of all, I watched it live, and I loved when they opened the fairing and immediately started playing David Bowie mm-hmm. while mm-hmm. showing shots of of the Roadster and Starman hovering over the very flat Earth. Yeah. <laughs> it was so great. I mean, and, and then I'm on the live stream, and it, there's a live feed. I don't know if it's still there, but there was a live feed as it's going farther and farther away. And all the comments are like, this is so obviously fake. And then oh, someone's like, why does it look like the car is floating in space? And then someone's like, it oh, is. my gosh. And then, then there's other people. This is such a waste of money. I can't believe that they would do this. They could put, put something useful up there. They could, it's like, NASA used to launch water to test their rockets. And At least he did something cool with it. And he yeah. put the, he put, uh, what is it? This, this is made by humans or something inside. Yeah, the made planet. on Earth by humans. He had the don't that, panic on the screen. Reference that's super cool. Guide. Yeah. Dude, it was just be, like, completely backfire where some, like, advanced aliens find it. And we're like, ha, found you guys. All right, slaves, get in line. It's, <laughs> no, no. They can make stuff. Just, Musk! <laughs> I, I, yeah. I no, want I, him to start a cologne next called Elon's Musk. Uh, <laughs> I would not want to wear any man's musk. I want to see him star in DuckTales as Elon Duck. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I got chills watching that live stream. Just I don't know. There's something about like when everyone gets really excited and happy about stuff, and hearing everyone yes. cheering, and you know all the engineers and yeah, whatever. and about stuff that's like worthwhile, something that yep. furthers humanity. You know, something yeah. that's. Really, this is the first time since the Saturn V that we've made major advancements in spaceflight, yeah. and it's privatized. I I love that. I just it, that makes me feel very proud to be American. Yeah, and, and, <laughs> and as a human too, like the in the tandem landing, is like sci-fi. Like oh, I remember yeah. watching like Buck Rogers, and you see the rockets land vertically, and it's like that's a science fiction. Now it's like, oh my god, this is happening. This is real, dude. Yeah. No, do you want to talk about science fiction? Guess what I found out that. they made. What? what? They have <laughs> successfully made, and they're very small, but the point is they made them. They successfully made holograms that are three-dimensional, free-floating, and that don't project on onto smoke or any kind of surface. They hover in the air. That's and different. guess how they did it? It's brilliant. Magic. Tell me. How? Magic. They use intersecting oh. infrared lasers oh. to create plasma balls. That lasts for a fraction of a second. They can change the temperature to change the color, and they they work like pixels, and they can just hover in the air. And they can make they made the the Princess Leia help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Oh my god! It's There's quite recent. recent. Yeah, you have to just look it up. It's it's amazing. They're that tiny. They've been more than like a month ago, right? Dude, techno- I thought technology is like kicking to high gear this week because I read this article about how like there are these gla- glasses. That these uh, Chinese police officers wore, and this is a headline, so take for what, what it is. But these glasses could actually identify, uh, I guess, like criminal faces, and they were able to find seventeen like wanted people with these glasses. <laughs> I'm like, this sounds like Minority Report or whatever. This is creepy. Oh, that, yeah, that was scary. You know what I want to do though? Like that. That is very cool. But what I want to do, I want to merge virtual reality with reality. I want to create glasses that can polarize sections of the glasses and project video onto what you're actually seeing so yes. you could and, and they could track the horizon like imagine you could put the halo ring on earth and just have it digitally put it in there on your glasses and it appear that it's actually there yeah. you could put giant <laughs> planets in the sky i mean that would be so cool <laughs> that point where it's like we're gonna start hitting that creepy era here soon where it's like black mirror episodes 
Well, I so mean, not to, not to get too weird, but I expect that um, our next evolutionary step is to merge with technology. Finally, I can get laid. <laughs> <laughs> like cyborgs? Whoa. Well, I mean, uh, once, uh, hopefully, brain mapping becomes, you know, a little more practical. If we can synthesize and augment, you know, existing organic intelligence or um, even create our own artificial intelligence that is on par or similar to the way that we think we can remove limits that are, are caused by our um, physical tissue. We could accelerate the way that we think, and that will lead to another massive technological leap. Right, man. I'm so know. ready for this. I'm so ready for this. <laughs> oh, me too. For the record, uh, uh, Sarah and I were watching uh, Back to the Future, and we just watched all three of them. Nice. Uh, which... <laughs> First thing I want to say is it cracks me up because they literally put the trailer for the second or no for the third movie at the end of the second movie, yeah. like it's part of the movie. It's great. <laughs> like, we're making it, but um, <laughs> yeah. Continue. So, I, I, we, it's just so amusing because they go to the year 2015, and they must have been yeah. so disappointed when they actually got there because man, we do not have very many flying cars. Not very well, many. Ours is that's impractical, though. Hey, no, it, it is. is. It Unless absolutely we, is. We what we need, I think, uh, more than anything else, is just to get cheaper, more reliable power. Because honestly, that's what limits everything. That it just requires a lot of power to do some of these things. We but need we teleporters. Power, saying we need <laughs> unlimited power. <laughs> Could you imagine if they had flying cars and then somebody's car like ran out of gas in the air? It's absolutely. You throw people on the ground like driving like beetles and they crash into cars. I'm like, I'm not gonna let you fly. Right. right. No, people are not responsible enough to I mean, fly yeah. cars. At well, all. yeah. No, that that is. It definitely takes a, a different level of. You know, it takes three-dimensional spatial awareness, not just two-dimensional. And yeah, if your engine runs out when you're driving, you just pull to the side of the road. If your engine runs out when you're flying. You pull to the side of the road, duh. Yeah, you end up on the side of the road, but not as gently or gracefully. <laughs> well, you, you could just get out of the car before it falls. Oh, that's true. Or like slam yeah. on the brakes right before it hits the ground. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's how that works. Well, there was um, something else I read about how like, I need to look this up and make sure this is like also legit, but how they like were growing some ears in some laboratory and they reattached them to like these Chinese kids. Apple. What's that? They they actually yes they so here's what the the what you're talking about what's what's interesting about the discovery and and the technology based on a 3D printing organs they found That's out that the scaffolding of the organ dictates where all the cells go so basically if you could bleach a heart you could put you could regrow the cells over the entire thing and make it work for any person and then they're like well if we can do that then we can uh, 3D print so wild. Like, you know, a heart and then have cells grow on it and so that's what they were doing they're 3d printing the scaffolding to create a human so ear and then seeding wild. it with the skin cells of the of, of the patient dude i tell you man we're i feel like we're on the precipice of some pretty great stuff i, I, I hope so i mean yeah, i guess it's scary like, like who's in control who try to like you know control the means of how it goes you know <laughs> I mean, okay, I'm switching gears for like, not now. I the Fermi paradox <laughs> scares me because I feel like we're approaching the reason, you know? Yeah. And I, I mean, I don't know. Humans are just, we're just weird. I was talking to Laura. I can't, I can't talk about this. Stuff. It's just a can of worms. Um, you know what? How about this? Uh, unless you want to keep talking about this topic, but we should probably move into Q&A here in a bit. Yeah. What? How, how dare you try and <laughs> dictate where this podcast goes? Yeah. I mean, I... I, I well, I don't talk about that. <laughs> um, okay, so I think we've hit. Oh, I guess there's one last thing uh, to to mention before we get on a topic and then move into Q and A. Um, was uh, Sarah you mentioned or put on here about season eight? For yeah. Hockey and Hasbro. Yeah, it, 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 that was. No, I'm not gonna say any spoilers, but like Hasbro the fact that it or happened. <laughs> I guess accidentally posted a video that they weren't supposed to and what's like i think i think the issue was that like someone who wrote a song that is apparently features in season eight accidentally like they posted it thinking that it was good to go but then nope 
And what's funny about it is because I was like, oh, finally something season eight. And I posted it in the Semi Perfect Pod fan club. I, under, I did put it under the spoiler hashtag, but I was just like, God damn it. <laughs> because I was like, hey, something that isn't a leak uh, from Hasbro themselves. Never mind. And, uh, oh, never mind. <laughs> Hasbro and not leak. Yeah. Whoop. But yeah, that was a thing that happens. Uh, it's, it's almost, it, it happens so often with them that it's almost just not surprising anymore. Yeah. It's just like, oh, yeah, they did this. Okay, so, um, in regards to topics, uh, there's one thing that we wanted to bring up on this podcast. It's something that we're not going to hang on uh, too long, but it's something that we figured should be addressed uh, and before we get into the Q&A portion. But this podcast is very heavily brony and mlp fandom oriented and um i know i know i'm sorry um and one thing that happened over the last two weeks i think it actually was the night of our last podcast or right around or, then. i think a day after yeah when uh when information started coming out but essentially there is a uh a person who does analysis in or did oh analysis. i heard about in the fandom uh, that went by or goes by the name Toon Critic. And um, essentially, to cut to the chase, this person was uh, doing sexual role-playing with a minor. And uh, amongst other things with this minor, uh, luckily it, it came to an end when it did, but uh, it had been going on for over a year. And then once this information came out, more people came out, uh, in, you know, referring to things that had happened to them on a personal level with this individual. Uh, I read almost the whole transcript just out of morbid curiosity. I, it was it was disturbing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it 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 was. And there's a couple reasons I wanted to bring this up. First, it's you know, as the phrase goes, the elephant in the room. Um, frenzy. Frenzy. You're holding up the line. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it's it's just it's something that we've definitely been seeing a lot of people, you know, discussing and I, I guess worrying about and and whatnot. So this is why I wanted to bring it up now. But um, yeah, no, I mean, I don't I don't actually know what has happened since things came out, but I do know that the group that he was associated with um, went to the authorities. They they contacted them in regards to what was going on because what was going on was illegal. And no. um, yeah, it just, it's, it's weird because Toon Critic is a person that we've seen, you know, at conventions, running panels yeah, and whatnot. I've been interviewed by him a few times. He, yeah, we have too. Um, I mean, I'll just be pretty blatant here or, uh, you know, I'm not going to sugar sugarcoat it. He's somebody who multiple times approached us, um, like Saber and myself and, and our group, uh, about, Hey, you know, let me be part of this panel. Let me be part of this and whatnot. And there was always, I mean, admittedly something that we were just like, I don't know. Like the, some about it, his, his character that we just he came weren't. on way too strong. He very strong. And you know, it, yeah, he, he was just a, an individual who we really didn't want to associate with. But at the same time, we were like, we'll just kind of put things down softly. Like, Oh, sorry, not this time. Sorry, not this time. And well, now you have a good excuse at least. Yeah, if he asks ever again. No, he, absolutely. Uh, he won't be at a convention ever again. No, uh, but yeah, no, it's just, it's, I know that some people probably have seen him show up in vlogs, you know, not a lot of vlogs, but but uh, have seen the interaction. We did not really know him. Uh, we, we chose not to really get to know him. And in the end, I guess it was a good thing because obviously he's... Uh, he did some pretty terrible things. So, um, mm -hmm. I, I, the reason, the reason I wanted to bring this up was a lot of people have been referring to how 
he or how oh no you know with the fandom how this big individual in the fandom has done this thing and yada and i wanted to address it because uh, first off i think we need to put into perspective how big toon critic was in this fandom while he was in it uh there's still a lot of there's still a lot of people who did not know who he was i think he was around eighteen thousand subscribers on youtube uh but He's not the face of this fandom, and I'm we shouldn't. He got it that big. What's that? I said I'm surprised he got it that big at all. I mean, it, he seems like an individual who was like just trying to leech off of others, and he did. Uh, I mean, yeah. like we said, with the way that he would interact with us, it always felt like it was. It wasn't. Hey, can can we do this? Whatever. It was. Hey, like let me be a part of whatever. Um. So yeah, no, there definitely. I'm I. I'll echo that. Uh, but yeah, he... Um, or, sorry. He essentially... Uh, I don't know. It, he's not somebody that I think we need to look at as, oh my gosh, a big person in the fandom did this. What now? It's It's more of, okay, a terrible person got called out for doing terrible things, and they do not represent our fandom and they will not represent our Correct. fandom yeah. and and we need to we need to you know I, I i obviously feel terrible for the victims and whatnot but yeah. we need to just just look at it for what it is and not blow it up to oh no you know now what are people going to think of bronies it's like yeah, that's guys, not the focus that's that shouldn't be thank you yeah. i think that applies by the way to pretty much everything not to say that it shouldn't be taken seriously when something like this happens right. but that if you continue to constantly focus on it stress about it and worry about it first of all you're not fixing the situation and second you're actually giving it power mm -hmm. yeah. the thing mm -hmm. to do is to acknowledge that it was bad try to figure out if there's something that you can do about it but mainly try to move on and mm -hmm. try to think about the positive and that's I... at least how i approach most of the negative situations in my life so I guess my main thing that I want to chime in, and I'll leave it at that, because I mean, too quick what he did was bad. So, you know, it sucks. And, and hopefully he can serve justice and get the help that he needs to get better. So, and then yeah. the victim, whoever they are, uh, that they can find uh, peace and, and be okay. That being said, um, I think it's kind of weird when people are like, I'm done with this fandom. I'm sick of it. And I'm like... Not like it's like good Bernie Con just see a bunch of pedophiles like creeping around the corners. I mean, it's like at least sixty percent of the people there. No, I'm joking. Uh, at least um, the majority of the folks who go are just you know just dorks. They're just nerds who are awkward but just having fun. And I mean, if you flip any rock over, you're gonna find some roaches. Like I mean, any rock, any rock. Exactly. Um, and the bigger any... something gets, the more prominent and and those people become. The more they appear to be. Just yeah. because of the sheer size so, of the fandom. All you gotta do is whenever that light is shown and you find those roaches, just get them the hell out of there and, and be like, you're out, see ya. But, uh, you know, what it is right now, justice has been served and and the right thing was done. And and then the victim, of course, is will get will be okay. So, yeah, that's that. Yep. Yeah. So, so definitely, you know, we certainly hope that... Uh, not just not just the one but any of the the victims that they're either able to get you know the help that they need or or you know are able to re recover as best as they can um but yeah i mean really i i uh i wanted to bring it up before q a because i i've already i knew that this would probably come up during q a so we just wanted to bring it up now uh address it and essentially like i said the Basically, everybody here in this podcast, we didn't associate with him. So, so really, we didn't know him at all. Yep. So, so that's about. We only uh, knew him by reputation. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and I will never forget the time at Pony Girls, or at uh, Pacific Pony Con when he invited us to a panel, and it was like a midnight, like I guess eighteen plus panel, and uh, we all were under the impression that he'd ask us to join it, but we showed up and like after half an hour, what did you watch? He invited us to be attendees. That's kind of weird. But yeah. he was there, and he was inebriated, and he went into, like, sassy, like, like, heckler mode. And it was just the best thing seeing Henry just run circles around Toon Critic and just be like, well played, wizard man. <laughs> <laughs> Beavis was so on point that night, and he just didn't care. 
Who is the uh, main entertainment? I was like, this is great. Like Henry, and, just, Henry is such an interesting individual. He's like I so. Love him. He's so it's like composed when he needs to be. And <laughs> he's classy. He's classy, but when he doesn't want to be classy, he's like, hey, you shitters! <laughs> he's literally the incredible home. Right? Here it is. This. <laughs> 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 Uh, and like you said, Saber, like the whole the whole reason that the heckling even happened was because he specifically asked us to show up for this. He's like, guys, it would mean so much to me if you guys, uh, you know, came to my, came to my panel. Um, and but he was doing it in a way where we thought he was asking us to participate in his panel. And we're like, you know what? Fine. And we showed up, and we really, it literally, it was like, okay, you guys can have a seat in the audience. It's like, oh. Well, who, okay. And then Henry made that whole night just great. <laughs> Never met Henry too. What a it was way! Great. What a way to meet him. <laughs> it's a good. It's a good way. Well, like I said, uh, unless anyone else has anything they'd like to say on the topic while it's open here, um, any anyone have any uh, anything else they'd like to add? Yeah. Well, really, I guess just what I already said. But um, yeah, I, I'm not. I I do want to to um i guess uh what's the word clarify that i i'm not taking this lightly that i don't think that it's not that big of a deal um because i know that sometimes that's been people's reactions when i say or if i if i don't you know spend a lot of it you know pay a lot of attention to this kind of stuff the thing is i guess my approach is if you know yeah sure it's terrible and it sucks and it's it's sad but it's also, when it comes down to it, none of my business. So, you know, it, I, it is good to be aware of this kind of stuff, just to be aware of it. But, you know, the, I can't help the situation. I can't really do anything about it. And all it does, if I continue to focus on it, is stress me out. And, and I guess when, you know, when people do talk to me about this kind of stuff and when I when it's brought up to me my advice to them is generally the same thing you know take what you can from it and if you can help do help but aside other than that you know don't give it power yeah and, and essentially that's that's like i said why uh we're bringing it up now is because essentially yeah. this is this is the extent of what we have to offer on the situation so you know this is this is our take on on what happened and what has happened um and and yeah and we'll leave it at that uh you know we we won't be seeing him again good riddance and we move on yep so i guess sarah that would put us in q a mode okay um so what i'm gonna do is what are we gonna do latest as in top down or what do you should i there's a art thing that just showed up on oh. Twitter. I will let me look. From Flutter Cold. Ah! Ah, that's cute. I like it. Some new art. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. I'm gonna save it. Where is it? <laughs> I'll find it. Uh, here, I, I'm about to put the link on Twitter. Let's see, wait. Or, I'll retweet it. Awesome. Why is my computer just all of a sudden not wanting to work? There we go. <laughs> oh my god, you got me to sing your song. <laughs> Who wrote that song? Beat it or tweet it? <laughs> it's funny when you said beat it, I didn't think of... Yeah, tweet it. Who, no, I who... was making a suggestion. Ah! Who, uh. who wrote tweet it? Who tweeted it? Who tweeted? <laughs> Uh, Michelle and I did the tweet. Aww. Yeah, it's cute. <laughs> I like how I'm like poking my head out in the corner in race bests. Yeah, I like that. Screen. Yeah. Okay, Warren's all bendy. <laughs> and we're using <laughs> Skype. Here we are. <laughs> uh, uh, cool. Well, thank, thank you so much. <laughs> thank, thank you, you very much. The art. All right, Sarah. Are we getting questions here? Uh, hashtag, yeah. what is it? Hashtag. SPP questions, plural. And I've put, let me just do it once more, but I've been putting it in the chat. Uh, okay. 
So I'm gonna do top down on latest. Is that okay? Or should um, I go from oldest to newest? We should probably go oldest to newest right, because right. new ones are gonna be coming in. Okay, hold on, one sec. So. Uh -huh. Here, I'll grab one right now. Straight. You guys okay. ready for Q&A? Mm -hmm. Sketchy has a question for Hirosashi. <laughs> okay. Sketchy is asking, didn't you have a pony OC at some point? Wasn't it pink with a beret? Yeah, I still... Beret? No, it's cool. That's a T. Oh, e sorry. E-R-E-T, beret. It's a girl OC because... Yeah. I didn't want to make a guy hell. <laughs> There's no reason. I was yeah. like, oh. Well, yeah, if my OC boosted, I'd make her a girl so I could. What? What? <laughs> go on. Don't go on. Stop talking there. Go on. <laughs> Sketchy has a question here also for Saber Spark. No. Asking, do you ever plan on going to Japan? If so, what would you do? I'm uh, not sure exactly when, but just I, I, I just follow Laura's lead. You've been there before, so like ramen shops and temples and yes, wait, you ramen. Laura, <laughs> please don't trust me to be like your tour guide. I've been there once. <laughs> more than I have. Everyone been to Japan. <laughs> Main race haven't. I have. There we go. <laughs> You're not alone. <laughs> but I, I do have a lot of country. I have purchased things from Japan. <laughs> I have too many. I'm gonna buy another one of those Judy posable figures, by the way. Oh, I made mine super like I was about to use a really weeb word. I made mine really weeby. Let's go with that. Everyone knows what a weeb is. <laughs> what was the other word you were gonna use? Chuni. Do you which is it? short which is short for Chuni Bio, which is middle school sickness, which means you're like a super like big old nerd in middle school, like ah the eye of Agamotto swallows you like that kind of nerd. And it's like still out kid. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that kind of nerd. But yeah, I made her like, cover her eye, like her Ooh. head arch backwards, so it looks like she's. Yeah. It's... You have to send a picture, please. Uh... <laughs> Babe, did you mean to skip over the question that Sketchy had for me? Yeah, because I was going to ask you. Okay. For Sarah, do you ever struggle with maintaining your art? As in, do you find it difficult to draw because you feel you should be doing more, quote, important things? Not, oh. <laughs> like I, I do definitely struggle with maintaining my art, but I'm not sure it's because of the reason that I can't. I feel like I shouldn't be drawing because I should be doing more important things, because I think a lot of the times. Well, I mean, like I've been doing freelance, so a lot of the times I'm doing art as a job, but I, you know, that's always kind of a struggle to you know get yourself to go and to do things like especially when it's more for i guess i struggle more for when it's my for myself nowadays because i've done so much freelance and like i've i'm drawing for other people and then when it comes to like having free time i don't really use it to draw for myself so much and i've been struggling with that but i'm trying to get better i'm trying to draw for myself by drawing my oc uh, okay Oops. well then go to one of my streams and request it. But that requires me to do stuff, though. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, um, I saw this funny SpongeBob tweet or meme where it had the SpongeBob where he's sitting down with a little sign, and it's like the people are around the the uh, burger patty thing, and it's like the first thing says like original art, and they flipped it around and it said like free OC drawings, and the crowd just like blew up like that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, I don't. Okay, so there's one more question here from Sketchy, and it's in Japanese. It's for Hero. Is it? Because it says oh, with, with <laughs> no, ABCD translated by Microsoft. There is Hero. Link, link is here, it? so if you can read it. Yeah. <laughs> I have a question. Oh, jeez, goodness gracious! What do you like uh, best you about know, anime? Why not? Make a Japanese, real talk. My favorite <laughs> anime uh, is Fanat After Story. But legit, uh, I've had enough time to think on it. Maybe the 
Olympus is really up there, boy. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's, it's, really it's, it's, it's like my number two so far. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> yeah, my number one is still Madoka, but my number two is Made in Abyss right now. Yeah, I didn't want to say it because I'm really bad about like getting overhyped about things I just saw. Yeah, but I've had I, I'd have to. Think to I, I'd have to wait at least a year to mm -hmm. see like if I still like it that much. Right. So yeah, so that after story uh, followed by Made in the Abyss right about now. <laughs> All right. So Ozzy All is asking which is better, In and Out or Shake Shack? Never In and Out. Out. I haven't had Shake Shack, so while I want to say In and Out, just it would be bias of me. Just freaking say In and Out. <laughs> In and Out. <laughs> In and Out for sure, especially because of that night we had at the Shake Shack. <laughs> oh my God! I Wait, don't think that... I've eaten Shake Shack. That so. was Steak and Shake, my friend. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that was Steak and Shake. Oh, right. Steak and Steak is so good. Oh, Shoestring my... fries. You should go to the one we went to, Gabe. Yeah, I always, I always mix up Steak and Shake and Steak Shake Shack. They have two so <laughs> their names are too similar. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, um, Aziel asks thoughts on the new Equestria Girls special called Forgotten Friendship. It's a forty-four minute special instead of twenty-two minutes. I think that's the beach out. episode, ain't it? The long-awaited beach episode. Uh, no, I, I don't think it's out yet. But oh well, then I don't have any thoughts on it yet. My thoughts are. I'm losing I'm losing my grip on the Equestria Girl stuff. Yeah, I've been I'm actually catching it. up with like the there I guess it's, it's just the YouTube. Yeah, um, yeah. I know it's just, just They're yeah. girls? I've been catching up on those and a lot of them are cute. They become humans. <laughs> oh, okay. So I I'm like gonna... the director. She's really cool, so I'm I actually haven't seen the special snow. <laughs> oh my god, it is a beach episode. They're all in swimsuits. Yeah, it is a beach episode. It's oh, the long-awaited yeah. beach Steven episode. And was freaking out about Applejack's <laughs> midriff. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> um, I got... Okay, so Ozziel also has a question. I saw this today. And apparently, uh, they're making a live-action Kim Possible movie. What? Hmm. Yeah, I read that too. They're making a live-action Kim Possible movie. Yeah, Scarlett, they... jo Scarlett Johansson is supposed to be impossible. Didn't they? Didn't they do that already? I thought they. I thought they did no. one with well, like. They did an animated movie. No, 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 no. Oh, you know what I'm thinking of? I was gonna say, yeah, they did a live action one with the sister from Even Stevens, and then I realized, isn't that the voice of Kim Possible? Yes. Yeah. So never mind. That's what I must. Have <laughs> But yeah, uh, what do you guys thoughts on that? Uh, I don't know. I just I don't know. <laughs> Who cares? Um, Who cares? Yeah. Let's see. Did you skip? Did you mean to skip over some of the other ones? Uh, yeah. I, I think okay. we've discussed some of those. Yeah, we. Yeah, he asked about the Super Mario Bros. by Illumination. And I guess Warner Brother, Warner Brother Animation Group will make an animated film based on Dr. Seuss's stories, starting with Cat in the Hat. I guess they're doing a series. <sighs> um, Here we go. Sketchy's got a question for Sarah again. Oh. Asking, did you go to an art college? If so, what college did you go to and what were the portfolio requirements? I, I was considering going to an art college, but... I really did not find that necessary in order to find work. Um, I, I was very much seriously contemplating going to CalArts out here. Um, but I think I was, I was scared off, number one, by the price. The price tag on it. Um, and then number two, just like the whole, like, it seemed almost impossible to get in. And, you know, I was very happy with where I went to school. I went to CSUN, um, and I was really happy with the art program. And I really don't feel like you need to go to a, a specifically art college in order to be successful in art. And you can still do a university, save yourself some money, find a good art program in at a university and 
go there. Like, if, if you want to go to an art college, more power to you, but you, it's definitely not a requirement. I feel like it's kind of like when uh, people are asking us about, like, making videos on YouTube, and they're like, so what kind of equipment do we have to get? And we're like, well, don't spend a lot of money, at the, you know, at the beginning. Like, yeah. you can make good yeah. stuff. It's, it's more yeah, about the idea. Yeah, you don't need – exactly, man. I, yeah, you don't need incredible equipment to make decent content. Oh, yeah. I could be – I could just go on a t- – I write, like a rant, a vent right now about my friend. I'm getting recording equipment, but I'm not going to. Do it. <laughs> yeah. I was like, spending yeah. money will not make you better. <laughs> so, uh, if crazy. anything, like just get a a decent microphone that yeah. uh, that records something that that audio just won't be like terrible. It doesn't have to be the highest quality yeah. audio, but it, at least like have you like understandable and like not a lot of noise mm. and. Uh, like You'll my snowball. <laughs> Not made of money. <laughs> yeah. You'll just... just get like a, a like a blue snowball. I yeah, still fine. use an Audio Technica AT twenty twenty. It's a hundred. They're so good. They're, so They're amazing. Hirosashi just sent me the his uh pose uh, picture of Judy Hopps posing, <laughs> and I love it. That was so tuny. Oh my god. I love it. I just love it. Um. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so Railroad Bronies were out at the last night of destruction that they uh, competed in. Um, And they're asking who the heck was driving the cop car at the last night of destruction race. So a little bit of context here for the audience. At the night of destruction events, we have what's called a jam car. And it's essentially there whenever there's a race or anything, as opposed to stopping an event because a car got stuck in the track, we'll have a car push it out of the way during the race. And um, sometimes those cars are used to um, push, you know, gunk in the way during a trailer race. So people crash into it. And a lot of times uh, Tommy, who I do the low budgets with, has been climbing behind the wheel of that car because he knows how to actually use it. Uh The last night of destruction, to my knowledge, that car was supposed to be completely demolished, destroyed, not running, not useful. Guys, I'm sorry, I have to go. Get out. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I bet I've been nagged. I've been being nagged for the last five minutes, and now Mm -hmm. it's now it's. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I wanted to be here. That was close. <laughs> yeah. That was... <laughs> I didn't. I didn't intend for it to be that close. <laughs> That's why. I... <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it was close. No, Nothing. Don't worry. About okay. Bye, game. Um, but I love you. Love you. Love too. you too. Bye. 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 You guys don't know how fast my heart's beating right now. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's close. Uh, <laughs> anyways, so Tommy was supposed to drive the car, uh, but he didn't because they never delivered the car. So it was just some of our officials, hence why the car got like an extra dent on it as opposed to actually being demolished. So, yeah, it was supposed to be Tommy behind the wheel, but they were miscommunicated. Yeah. Um. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize this. Drummer Shy uh, asked a question for Black Griffin, <laughs> and I just got to it. <laughs> uh, Drummer Shy, send send that question for the uh, next podcast. I'll I'll make sure I ask it while he's around. I didn't realize that. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, Sketchy is asking any advice for. Oh, here you go, Sarah. Another mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. Any advice? <laughs> Actually, this could be for anyone here. Yeah. Any advice for self-promoting your work? For example, marketing your artwork on merchandise or through commissions? That's still something that I'm trying to work on. I I mean, advice would be to just be consistent with it. Like it just I know it's it's kind of hard to be, you know, consistently posting things about like your stuff and not feeling like you're just beating everybody's heads over like with it, but like you got to be consistent and keep yourself out there so that people will see you um but yeah that's something that i'm still working on myself so (laughs) i unfortunately i can't give too much uh good advice (laughs) anybody else nor is oh is anyone else have input for that one social media i mean is yeah yeah Yeah. keep up with social media and tumblr yeah 
Yeah, people see it. Tumblr seems to be a big place for art. Yeah. Uh, people. Um, yeah, make sure you like uh, put a lot of tags. Yeah. Uh, if you're putting on Tumblr. Yeah. Yeah, know how to work the system. Uh, Nor Mermaid is asking a question for Laura. Asking, what is your favorite pair of ears that you own? Oh, I, like Mickey Mouse ears. Yeah, I think um, Mickey Mouse ears. I have these like really cool Star Wars ones that um have like these LEDs in them that light up the different panels at different times. So it's like a little scene <laughs> where like the X Wings and the Tie Fighters are fighting at the Death Star, and it's really cool. Nice. What the heck? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'll find a picture of it on. <laughs> awesome. I've seen them. I've seen them yeah. around. They're really cool. I didn't know that they did all that cool stuff. Yeah. That sounds great. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to have to say it again. Uh, Ross Pitt had a question for Gabe. <laughs> I'm getting to all the Gabe questions now. Uh, <laughs> just resubmit it for the next show. We'll, we'll make sure we get it in. Um, Nora also says... <laughs> it's a question for Gabe. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Damn it, Gabe. He planned this. Here we go. Reckless is asking, if you had the chance to go to space and could pick up to five people to join, who would you choose? Uh... Oh, another five-person guy. These questions are hard. Trained <laughs> astronauts. <laughs> yeah, trained astronauts. Uh... <laughs> right, yeah. That's actually a good point. I would I would definitely want, like, if I, if I had four trained astronauts and one person, I... I don't know. I, I part of me would really want Gabe there, just because he'd be geeking out about everything and explaining <laughs> everything, and you'd be like, "Oh, yeah. the camera's panning over from astronaut's face to the left, and see another astronaut, and they see you gritting your teeth with smiling, and it pans over into Doc Mora, whatever of like Judy Hop, <laughs> yeah. big old body pillow with a helmet on." <laughs> you like, to be honest, though, to be honest, though, if I had the chance to go to space, I wouldn't. <laughs> I I'm not I'm not for that. I'm, uh, it's cool that people are going to space, but that's not for me. I'm just going to stay here. It's terrifying. <laughs> but Sarah, didn't we didn't we I remember back at Fiesta Equestria, we were driving up and Saber asked us a question about like if oh, we would Yeah, this one. Uh yeah, it was like the one where like if you could <sighs> have sex. I forget, it was like, Yeah, it basically <laughs> came down to if you could have sex in space. I to which I think we. I what? Don't I don't remember. And uh, yeah, our well, our car awesome. car ride questions get a little weird. It, towards... it was it was bigger than that. Like he was it was essentially like it was a mission, a human mission. And yeah, you but were that on... one feels more like you have to do it. Yeah. yeah. Well, this one so the wording is if you had the chance, which I'm like, I wouldn't. <laughs> What? They say they, they oh they say they could be fictional. Oh shit. Okay, let's let's you wander have this... and Sylvia. They know space. <laughs> you, you want this question to be one that we'll, we'll sure. answer next week? All right. Or our next show? Yeah, I'll write it down. Rick It'll be a homework question for us. All right. So moving on, Ozzy asks. Um, what is gonna what is gotten happen within the MLP show and the franchise now that the leaks has been out? Oh, uh, oh. honestly, I think it'll be fine. Yeah, <laughs> the, I mean it's fine. Uh, uh, most people, I I feel like I feel like the majority of people are like avoiding the leaks. Yeah, be, I don't know. I mean, and, and those that I saw the leak that was somewhat official, and I'm like. Oh, that's cool. I'm not going to say anything about it, but I'm like, it was cool. And I'm happy with it. I think it's hmm. going to be interesting. But that's all I'm going to say about it. But yeah. Everyone dies. Rosie Diamond says, I'm reading Hamlet in my English class, and I absolutely love it. So I want to know, what was your favorite thing that you read in a high school English class? To kill Ooh. a mockingbird. Oh my god, thank you. I love to kill a mockingbird. It's my favorite. <laughs> I have like a really nice leather bound copy that Barnes and Noble did a while back and it looks beautiful. Yeah. But yeah. The Call of the Wild. Oh. What is that one about? I don't think I Isn't that the one where the guy has to put his hands inside the wolf? 
But if you think of Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back. Oh. <laughs> Still good. <laughs> uh, Lord of the Flies. Lord of the Flies is great. I said fries, something like that. <laughs> so I had, I had a weird experience. Uh, so I read a book called Don Quixote. Mm -hmm. and, oh, yeah. and, and I had to annotate it, so I was literally like writing notes in it, but they were all bullshit notes. Like I would, I was literally just over analyzing everything just so I get a good grade. Smart. And but it was funny because like it, it just felt like an old school moment because mm -hmm. my group of friends were also reading this book, and at lunch, like they'd start talking about it, like, oh my gosh, so can you believe that he attacked? you know, a windmill with a, a spear. And I'm just like, it's so weird that we're talking about this. Like it's a TV show. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what a I guy did that before television. <laughs> I know. No, seriously. It was like, okay, all right, let's, let's read this and, and talk about it tomorrow. But, um, there was also a book that I read in like fourth grade and it was, I can't even remember what the title of it was, but it was essentially about kids going to school. And this guy, like, wrote it up uh like from you know for from the first person perspective of one of the students and i don't even remember what the hell happened but i remember that in it i had to do a presentation on the book and i decided to write a song about it i wrote lyrics out and i performed them in school in front of my class and everybody started singing along and i felt like i freaking <laughs> won the world that was a fever dream we had. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, oh, wait. <laughs> but it was awesome. I had this one book. Okay, so you know, occasionally you'll have a book report where you choose a book and from the library and you have to write oh, about yeah. it. There was one book that I just like grabbed off the shelf and like it had a cool title. It was like Ghost Moon or whatever the fuck. Um, little did I know that it had sex scenes in it. Oh, it was a uh, oh. Nora Robert, or a, <laughs> whoever the famous lady who writes romantic novels. Is it Nora Roberts? Uh, Something Robert like Robert. that. <laughs> Nora Roberts, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was one of her books, and there were sex scenes in it, and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> so I did my book We're report, completely <laughs> omitting anything <laughs> of that regard, <laughs> and I was like, I hope nobody reads this book. Because I did a book report on it. <laughs> there, was, there was a book that I'd read in high school that no one else had to read, which is unfortunate because everyone had to be like Moby Dick or freaking To Kill a Mockingbird, like the common ones. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there was one that we had called Year of Impossible Goodbyes. Hmm. And I, I don't even like reading. I really don't. But this book, I was like hooked on it. Like, I could not put it down. It was about a, a little girl living in north korea during uh i i forget now just uh there was there was a war like russia controlled north korea if i'm not mistaken and it was i don't even like history so i have no idea i don't like reading it sounds like history. a it sounds like a saber spark fanfic right <laughs> final like history or reading so i have no idea why this book was so interesting but i don't know i guess it was like the innocence of the little girl's perspective and yeah. like seeing her family being taken away like the the men to go work and the women to go work at brothels and it was like a terrible like it made me feel awful but it was so fascinating oh yeah and, I, I probably know why because uh the book was published in 93 i think so uh -huh. it's, it's not that old <laughs> you know why a... what though why well, a lot of people hadn't read it oh, oh okay Kai, yeah, yeah. There was a book that, that we had to read, and it, it was about, like, a flood that happened. Like, like a town where a dam oh, no, broke. Oh, 91, and... not 93. Mm -hmm. but, but still, yeah, it's, it's fairly, fairly new as far as, like, I guess, uh, books to read in high school. Mm -hmm. and so so for, this, for this book, like, we had to do video presentations for it. I don't even remember what my group did. But I remember, like, at one point, some other group decided that they were going to do like a news report about like or a weather report in regards to this flood and they chuck like at one point they were filming a rubber ducky that was in our wash <laughs> like during a huge rainstorm and they're like oh no rubber ducky <laughs> but yeah did anyone's teachers read harry potter to them yep or was that just my grade. no yep. mine didn't yep I, I now, that... read harry potter 
You, that you was a certain excuse. excuse. Uh, but they, oh, I was so, I remember it still because I was so mad. Like, I guess people like listening to Harry Potter a whole lot because when I was in third grade, it was like insanely popular. So a uh, teacher would read it to us and then like right before recess. Mm -hmm. And um, we got like towards the end of the book finally one day. And she was like, oh, it's time for recess. Uh, well, hey, class, you guys want me to finish off this book or you guys want to go to recess? I was like, I want to go to recess. Look, it's recess. I want to go to recess. <laughs> <laughs> we're freaking, freaking, we live in a democratic society. <laughs> and all the, all the freaking kids were like, I want to hear the end of Harry Potter. I was like, no, I want to play tetherball. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> you had your priorities so, straight, Hero. I was so mad. We didn't get recess that day. To this day. <laughs> so brave. I have a question for you guys. I have a question, and then uh, I think Laura and I probably sign off after this. Okay. But uh, do you recall anything from your childhood that to this day you still resent? As in, like you missed going to play with friends because something happened, yep. or you I lost a boy, or or just something that happened when you were a child that was just devastating to you, and you still have not forgotten about. I took a nap while like my friends came over and like played in the sprinklers and like was doing like like water uh, uh, gun fights and whatever. And I I was taking a nap during that. And I was like, what the heck? I missed out. And then they left. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that reminds me. There there was one time my my neighborhood did a similar thing where everybody had super soakers, like the adults and the kids and everyone had those huge super soakers. And, and like, I came out, and they, they were like, yeah, we're done. I was like, what? <laughs> I, uh, I have one. I have a couple that will probably come back to me, but this is the main one that comes to mind. So my buddy Robert and I, we were, like, I don't know, 12, maybe. And whenever the Xbox was around with Halo, and uh, we uh, wanted to go to Blockbuster because they had a Halo tournament with the locals. Ooh. And Robert and I have been practicing all week. Like playing on Xbox, like this is what shotgun is on this level. Okay, now I'm gonna you know, drive this car and bank it off the tank. It'll be the coolest thing when we win the tournament. And my mom, uh, she wouldn't take us to the tournament because because uh, she had to stay home and watch like my sisters and everything. And my dad was like on his way home from like work, and I'm like, Dad, where are you? And I was, and he showed up, and it was like like an hour and a half later. I just felt like I was, I was like crying. I was like so upset. I'm like, mm -hmm. this is. My future career, and you're meddling with it. <laughs> <laughs> we, we got there. We lost like, the first round. <laughs> there was, I one of the biggest regrets I had growing up. Uh, my, <laughs> this is like such a childhood regret. Uh, there, so my, the local police station, they host a. Uh, they host a haunted house during Halloween. And, you know, I, I would always go through it with my dad, even though I was like terrified. I was probably like, you know, 10. I'm like, yeah, let's go through the adult one. I am not scared. And yet I was just freaking terrified. <laughs> and, and we were walking through it and we were near the end and I was already like, Oh God, this is like crazy. And we walked through this really dark section where there was no lighting and you had to walk through this hallway and the hallway was being like led by these cloth walls. And on the other side of the wall or oh, yeah, other side of the walls were people and they'd grab at you and oh, it, it, it absolutely just, it was too much. It was too much. I, I was freaking out and i was like i can't and we reached the very end of the haunted mansion or haunted house and there was a lady that was standing there in a robe and she, and before her was this box with a hole in it and she's like would you like to reach in and touch what's inside and i was like no 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 no, I, no i'm done i'm so done and my dad reached in and he touched whatever it was and i'm like no 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 we're done we're out of here we're gone and it, probably like i don't know i don't know when but years later it still bugged me that i never reached into that box <laughs> that I, i'm like i will never it know it's probably just it wet spaghetti like everybody puts in a and damn I, cauldron I asked my dad i asked my dad like eight years later like i'm like dad 
Do you remember when we went to this house I, and, no. and whatnot? Like, what what was inside that box? And he was like, yeah, he I, basically what you said. He was like, oh, I, I don't know. It was just something squishy. It was, you know, it was whatever. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> and I really felt lit down, actually. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh. Well, that's <laughs> oh, anticlimactic. <laughs> yeah. But I, 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 it was such a weird thing to regret. <laughs> Anyone else? Nah. Hmm. Good I question. Think... <laughs> um, Laura, I think Laura and I are going to probably go and, go and step out for the night. Okay. But thank you guys. Thank you, podcast. And we'll be back next time. Bye, All right. Have a good one. Yeah. And we're, we're right near the end of the podcast here yeah. for those that We've are watching live. We've only got a few live. more questions. So. Yeah, just a couple more. This one's going to go quick. Um, from Bravery the Brony asking, what con are you each most excited for this year? Um, well, I'm going to try to go to Brony Con, so that one, I guess, is what I'm most excited because I've never been to Brony Con. So. Brony Con is always a highlight, um, so yeah, uh, that would be that would be a heck of a lot of fun. Um, but uh, I know that the one that we have confirmed right now is BabsCon. So... So that one's definitely looking exciting. There's also another one that uh, isn't announced yet, but uh, it's one that we always look forward to as well. So I uh, cannot wait. Anyone else? And, uh, yeah, and uh, Mid Hero and also uh, Sabra and Laura and uh, uh, Jax is also going there too. Is we're going to Momocon uh, in Atlanta mm-hmm. in May. Whoa! A non pony con. What? Yeah. Whoa. You. F- what a bunch of freaks. Uh, cocky little freaks. <laughs> they look like a. They look like talking penis. <laughs> um, Taylor is asking, what are your thoughts on Las Vegas getting a legit pony con this year? We'll see how it goes. Are they? What's it called? It's called High Roller Pony Con. <laughs> and it's I think in May. Uh, my my Discord did a weird thing. So you said Hyrulean PonyCon. That's what I heard. High roller pony. High high roller. High um, roller. Gotcha. I you know what honestly like the thing that the people should not do is associate this at all with yeah. uh, Las Pegasus Unicon because it's it's not the same people. Yeah. Like it's just it's just that it's in the same city this is not i i forget which hotel they're in but it's it's not the same one that we were in yeah. because that one doesn't exist anymore <laughs> that's how that's how bad unicon was but uh yeah no i mean it i i think honestly whenever i look at uh who they have staffing that convention i think they have a lot of really good people in the right places I think that convention is going to do just fine. I think it'll be awesome for the people of Vegas and for anyone that wants to travel to Vegas and do a pony convention. So I, I have hopes for it. I do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mirth <laughs> Mauser says, would you guys ever consider having guests on the podcast? Well, we have, and some half the time they become permanent members. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, um, Someday we'll get Larson on here or something. <laughs> Just to pick his brain. Um, Reckless, here we go, is asking uh, PS4 or Xbox One? PS4. 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 It's funny. I, they I've added... only had my PS4 since Christmas, and I've already played it more than my Xbox One. <laughs> <laughs> they, added, they added here, and for Paleo, no Nintendo Switch. That's not an option. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, yeah. between those two, PS4. PS4. Yeah, PS4. Um, Mirth Mauser. What? Whoops. Oh, the save his I, part. I, I, <laughs> Ask that question again, Mirth. We'll get it next time. Uh, actually, that's it. I think that's all the questions. Oh, wait. There's another one by Mirth Mauser. How many pony fanfics have you guys written? Not enough. <laughs> one. You've exactly written a, one. You've written a pony fanfic? Yeah, because I got t- sick and tired of the show not doing what I wanted to. Oh, yeah? Uh, what I wanted them to do with Silver Spoon, so I just wrote the fanfic instead. <laughs> nice. How entitled you must be, I know. MLP <laughs> fan. It, it's yeah. so bizarre. I was like, this is how this character should, like, I'm telling the people. Oh, yeah, I read that, character. I think. You did? 
<laughs> yeah, I completely forgot you made one. This is like 2013 <laughs> or 2014. I don't remember one of those two. But yeah, I've never felt like quite that strong about a character. I'm like, you guys are messing up this character so much. Oh my god, please. <laughs> that is fantastic, Hero. Every every time I learn more about you, there's just it just gets better. Hold on, let me look at something because someone apparently used a hashtag, but their questions weren't shown. So let me see if I can find it. What name? Fluttercord. Fluttercord was doing the hashtags? Hmm. I thought. I don't know, I don't, but I'm they did draw seeing... us art, so I'm down to answer whatever question they got. Hold on, let me see if... I see oh, their food I think th they used the wrong hashtag. Uh, it's hashtag SPP questions. Um, but let me... <clears throat> what is the question? Okay, um, let's see. I want to know. Hold on, I'm just... I guess there's one that says, who's the Griffey? Which that is Black Griffin. And let's see. And another question from them is, do you have, guys have OCs we don't know about? If so, spell. Let's spill. Sorry, you broke up just for a second. We have one. Okay. Do, we have, do we have OCs we don't know about? Or the audience doesn't know about? I had a platypus OC. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> I had that on the Acorn Cafe, actually, who they're celebrating their 20th anniversary tomorrow. Oh, don't you? What? Yeah, Dolphin Boy. No, you, the, the cat. The cat? Oh, yeah. Well, that, that was more like a... A phase. No, like a, like a version of my, my regular, I guess, like... I guess personification that I usually have love like uh my icon it was just like a different version of it because there's like a dolphin version of it cat version of it which one's the main version the main <laughs> version is like the the human one that's always on my thumbnails wow so boring sheesh like the little, the little cartoon <laughs> well yeah, I, I i had some like other characters like way back when mm -hmm. oh wait yeah bob and jimmy yeah excuse me you know, good old Bob and Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> there was a, a cartoon I made. Aww. Um, a, a little uh, like a uh, four-panel comic nice. that I did. What? Yeah, they're an orc and a dolphin. They're they're best friends. I cool. love you said their names. Like, yeah, I I, I know about Bob and Jimmy. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot. I was like, do I have any original characters? Like, oh yeah, those two. <laughs> like from uh, way back, I haven't done anything with them in forever. There's Two one that names, for some reason just like have chemistry together without even Bob knowing the Jimmy. There's a there's a character that Sarah created uh, because there was one night at the racetrack where this car crashed into a barrier, and all of a sudden a cat jumped out and ran away, and we were like, "What the hell?" Like <laughs> out of nowhere, those cats just like, "See ya, I'm out." And uh, <laughs> so Sarah created this whole character based around this cat, and we even had like everyone vote on the name for it, and the eventual name became Skidmark. Hmm. <laughs> and she actually, it was a pretty sexy cat. Yeah. Hmm. Like, she, I think she was only wearing a shirt. I think, I think Hero has problems with the name. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no. Said, I said like, hmm. Okay. About the name. okay. <laughs> and then he said it didn't have a lot of clothes, to which I, made, I did a second, hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Hmm. Well, uh, I guess that's a wrap here on the Semi-Perfect Podcast. Yeah. Our next show will be in two weeks, February 21st. Yep. It'll yes, be, 21st. Uh, so, so two weeks from today. Uh, big thanks again to our live audience, our viewers <laughs> outside of the live audience. Saber! I'm, 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 I'm driving back from my is to my place. Saber, well, just, in a time, just in time to see. Oh, okay. Yes. So One gonna... question for you. Do you struggle to find ideas for your videos or do they come to you easily? Um, uh, it's... So, I'm pretty hardcore ADD. 
where like I have all the ideas and I want to do them all at the same time, but the same, but at the exact same time, I don't want to do them because I'm afraid to like start committing and I'm afraid of the outcome. So it's like to answer the question. I don't have an I don't have a shortage of ideas, but like I really have to take a fine tooth comb to find like the good idea where I'm like, oh shit, this one's gonna do really well. Like with Leo the Lion, I felt pretty confident about that. Or after the What Ruined Nickelodeon, it did really well. I'm like, well, I now I gotta do What's Ruined in Cartoon Network and What Ruined Disney Channel. So, like, it it, it kind of comes and goes. I think I think every single artist can relate to that. You have an idea that you're passionate and excited about, and you commit to it. And then you're ready to present it, and then it just does not make a splash, and it's devastating because you're like, I wasn't good. But then you'll just do some shit post video or, or art or whatever, and it gets like all this feedback and like reblogs and, and views, and you're just kind of sitting there, and you're like, what the fuck. But like, that's just <laughs> the ultimate nature of the beat. Like, and, and there's the best part of all is yeah, there'll be some days where like your be some shit just falls to the ground, but you there's never there's not a rule that prevents you from making as much as you want like it's not like well there's your quote you can you can, you can no longer make any more stop it's like nope i can get right back on my feet and keep making i'll keep making shows the day i die yeah nice well uh i now that we got that that question in so with that folks uh again thank you for joining us here on the semi-perfect podcast the Coverage for the Olympics has officially begun. Yo, wait, is it true that the Russians aren't allowed to be in the Olympics this year? I think I think overall, I think there it's a case by case thing for those that are being allowed. Steroids, dude, crazy. Yeah, they don't they mess. Uh, the Winter Olympics. Uh, South Korea, I think. Really? Pyeongchang. I, wasn't there some article about how like North Korea and South Korea wanted to like represent together? Yeah, the that's that's pretty cool. I hope that goes well. That's that is like good news. I mean, it's like we'll see how long this lasts, but that's 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 a good thing to see. But again, that's that, that's another thing I love about Olympics is it's kind of I don't know. It's cool to have the competition side, but like have the world come together for it. I love that. You know, mm-hmm. what I love is when Russia hosted the Winter Olympics last time. And it was like, wow, they spent billions of dollars. You know, you know there's questions. There's always questionable like structure with every single Olympics. Like, it's pretty rare for a country to actually have the infrastructure to provide a an Olympics uh, without like all their like all those structures falling to absolute shit afterwards. Like, China did a good job of like rolling with it. Russia, no, no they did not. Neither did Brazil. That being said, the funny thing about <laughs> I say this, you know, you know tongue in cheek, <laughs> Russia <laughs> spends billions millions of dollars to host the winter olympics and what happens like a week after they fucking send like their army rolling into crimea and it's like what the hell guys like, you just spent <laughs> like millions of dollars to like we are russia we are with the world now invade our next door neighbors you know, over Ukraine. you know what was really interesting was uh during that coverage just, and then we'll we'll uh, sign off the podcast right. but but during that uh coverage um usually the host um uh, bob costas is like oh man let's talk about how great this country is and he basically ended his broadcast being like i mean yeah they 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 hosted the olympics and and did a pretty good decent job but let's not forget that this country still sucks (laughs) well russia i mean russia is so weird and i'll do and i'll know this and because it doesn't have anything to do with the podcast i guess but like like, i never hold ill will towards the citizens of a country because the majority of people who live in a country are typically pretty cool like like they uh they don't want to fight they're just living there. and i'm sure that's like the case for china and russia and most people um but man the folks in charge of russia are a bunch of assholes the same way the people in charge of america are a bunch of assholes the same way <laughs> in north korea london and everywhere else in the world i mean more often than not it's like they're assholes the question is how an asshole are they amen pretty big all right, enjoy your Olympics. Guys, thanks for stopping <laughs> by. See you all next time. All right, good night, podcast. Dimponies. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>